congratulations on the home run. And I know at the end of the day, you guys want to win a ball game, but um, if you could try to quantify or, or, or put into words what that particular moment was like, uh, the uh, game tying homer off uh, Liam Hendricks. Uh, it was great for, uh, for me to get the, get the hit and then Will Castro to get on base and, uh, and for me to come up, you know, and, and hit, you know, a homer the first pitch. Uh, it was something, you know, that definitely amped our team to go into extra innings and, and try to win the ball game from there. We, we had a good run at it. Uh, the whole game we were fighting, uh, trying to put runs up on the board. We did an excellent job tonight. Uh, Stu's pitched good, and uh, he threw a gem out there. And um, really, really, you know, we didn't come up, we didn't come up with the win, but um, there's, you know, we definitely, I'm sure we're definitely happy with the way that we played out there. How would you best describe the – obviously, the rain comes in. Hendricks wanted no part of pitching first time around, right, in the bottom of the ninth. Uh, and I guess he had a case. And then you guys go in there and take 49 minutes. What, what are those moments like where you're, you're waiting to get out, back out there to finish the game? We're just looking to stay ready and uh, be ready for whatever moment that the game brings up for us to be able to – uh, contribute to in any phase that we, you know, we put out there on the field. Thank you. Thanks, Johnny. Go to Chris McCoskey, Detroit News. Yeah, when you, when you walked up there in that last at bat, were you thinking ambush or were you just thinking first, first fastball attack? Um, I was just looking to ready to be hit. I mean, I was, I was just looking to, to, to be ready to hit. Um, that was my, my initial key up there with, um, how I wanted to approach the pitcher that threw pretty hard and uh, his, his fastball runs a little bit. So I wanted to make sure that I got on top of it uh, when it when it came to me swinging the bat and um, some good things happened after that. I know you hit it out there where the, where the you know, a lot of home runs get swallowed up out there. Were you, were you still running hard or did you, did you know you got enough? I mean, I, I felt it come off the bat. I squared it up good. And, and when I saw it fly, I knew that it had a chance to go out. And you got the ball. I saw we saw you down there greeting the fan that gave you the ball. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I ended up meeting the fan who caught it, and uh, he was he was pretty hyped about it. Um, just glad that I got to talk to him, and uh, it's something that I'll never forget. Uh, his name is Alec, and I'm sure he'll be around the ballpark somewhere. Did you did you have to give him a car or something? Or <laughs> we we, just, we exchanged balls. I gave him a signed ball, and uh, he gave me the home run ball that I hit. Nice. Now I get to keep this thing. I'll probably sleep with it tonight. That's great. <laughs> hey, hey, just real quick to me, your walk-up music, hustling. Do, yeah. do you know who you know who used that music before? Uh, Martinez. Yes, I've sir. Been, been hearing it all over. Yeah, JD oh, Martinez. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, JD Martinez had that one. That that one right there. Um, every day I'm hustling. That just puts me in that mode of of wanting to go out there and compete. So I love I love that song. Um, it's really it's inspiring to me. Yeah. You're gonna have to give him. <laughs> you're gonna have to give him some uh, some rights, some some copyrights or something. Thanks, yeah, Des. Con congrats, man. I appreciate it. Thanks, Chris. We'll go to Evan Petzold from the Free Press. Hey, Des. You talked about uh, uh, Tarek Skubal and the fight that you guys showed um, throughout throughout the night. Um, what about Isak Paredes? So you you play with him quite a bit along the way. Seems like that guy can play anywhere in the infield. I mean, you know, can you just kind of break down, you know, what you like about him as an infielder with, with the hands that he has and the footwork? Yeah, he, he's versatile, you know, out there. Um, he makes sure that he, he gets to the right angle when he's trying to catch the ball. And uh, there's things that's, you know, really you know, talented about him that he has a feel um, when it comes to playing a baseball game. And um, I'm sure that he'll get even even more better than what he is right now. And um, for me to play in the game with him and be able to um, pick up some of the things that he, he does good is, is really um, effective. For the team, not and not only for the team, but for me as well. All right, thank you. Thanks, Evan. Uh, we'll go to Jason Beck, MLB.com. Hey, Daz, it'd be remiss if we uh, overlook the uh, catch you made the previous inning before the home run. Um, did you think you were going to get to that? And what's it like uh, sliding along a rain-soaked field like that? I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I can I couldn't hear you the, that, with the first words that you said. Sorry, the uh, the catch there. Did you think you were going to get to it? And uh, what was it like uh, hitting a grain soaked field like that? Oh yeah, <laughs> it was wet on. It was wet out there. Like on the ground, there was a lot of water. Um, made a, a 
a great catch out there. I mean, to myself, I was I was hyped about it. I went back on it and I uh, started running after it and took the right angle. And the ball kind of got in the light a little bit as it started coming down. And when I caught it, kind of just ran, like ran into the slide, you know, face down and the water was splashing up. It was pretty cool. It was like one of those things when I was, where it's like, wow, like I really, I caught this ball. Like, okay, and the fans were, you know, screaming. It's just really just, I was in the moment at that time. And Nico told me smile and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. What was the atmosphere like there in the ninth after Durain's light? There weren't a whole lot of fans up, but the ones who were were pretty yeah. loud, at least from where we were at. They they were amped. They they wanted to be there. They wanted to be there for for the game, you know, and, uh, uh, for them to stick around. I mean, it definitely you know kept kept the game you know um, pumped as as I would say you know for the extra innings, and um, we definitely um, fed off the energy. And uh, have you thought yet about who you're going to give that ball to or are you going to keep it for yourself? Where is it going? This one right here is probably going in a case. Probably going in a case and back at home. And uh, tonight, definitely sleeping with this thing. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that a twist off of Riley Green's uh, tactic or is this all your own? It's what <laughs> I heard about that. <laughs> yeah, I, I it um, seemed to give Riley Green of, luck. I don't know if that's what you're looking for. Just, it's it's really special. It's just like it's something that I, I worked hard for, you know, a long time. Just kind of just enjoying the moment with it, you know, and um, something I never forget out there. You know, it was my first homer and me hitting that ball. So um, special, special for me right now, man. 